Yo, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, we talk about Call of Duty 2021. That's right, the next Call of Duty that comes out next year. There's some rumors circulating about it, and uh, some pretty interesting stuff. Always like and subscribe, and have a great freaking day. See you later. Yo guys, what's going on? In this video, I want to talk about Call of Duty 2021, right after these two snipes. Great way to start the game off right there. Anyways guys, the rumor is that Sledgehammer Games is going to be working on Call of Duty 2021. So the rumors circulating are that the game's going to be World War 3 or Advanced Warfare 2. And before we get into what either of those titles mean, let's talk about what it means that Sledgehammer Games is developing the title. So this year in 2020, or I guess last year now, we had Black Ops Cold War developed by Treyarch. Before that in 2019, we had Call of Duty Modern Warfare developed by Infinity Ward. Before that was another Treyarch title in 2018, Black Ops 4. And Sledgehammer's last game, World War II. They haven't made a game since this. However, it's been confirmed that Cold War was supposed to be a Sledgehammer game. They actually created it and started working on it before handing it off to Treyarch. How much work they actually did on it? I'm not really sure. Um, just judging by the maps and stuff, I would say the majority of the game was done by Sledgehammer, and then they handed it off to Treyarch to finish it up. Either way, what this means is that we should be getting more than just a year of development on next year's title. I hope. From there, it's safe to say we'll see another Modern Warfare, and then maybe, please, a three-year development cycle title from Treyarch. Their last three-year development was Call of Duty Black Ops 3. In my personal opinion, the best Call of Duty ever made for multiplayer. So much depth, so much unlockable, so many unique weapons. Uh, skill cap was ridiculous. Specialist passive and lethal abilities. I could talk about Black Ops 3 all day. I know not a lot of people agree with me on that, but whatever. If you want an idea of what a rushed Call of Duty looks like, take a look at Cold War. I'm not dumping on the game. The game overall, the gunplay, the gameplay is awesome. I like it a lot. But check out the maps. We've got the least amount of maps ever coming out in a Call of Duty game, ever, in 2020. Look at the amount of guns. There's so little guns, and all of them aren't really crazy different. Yeah, you can argue they're different damage and stuff like that, but they're not unique. Call of Duty games before um, had operator mods for weapons, unique attachments like fire rounds, rapid fire, headshot bonus damage. You could change semi-automatic guns to automatic, automatic to semi-auto, and get different damage and stuff like that. Whereas in this game, every AR has the same exact grips, uh, stocks, handles, every attachment is the exact same, just copy-pasted on guns with different damage values and rates of fire. So, really nothing unique there. Um, there's no crazy new direction, like jetpacks or futuristic gameplay or... I, I don't know, it's not my job to come up with that, with that stuff and think about it, but... Um, this game is just kind of stripped to what Call of Duty is, just boots on the ground, gunfights, and maybe that's what people want. I like it, I don't hate it, but, like, couldn't we have a little more? Um, the, the game overall has very little in terms of multiplayer, Now I know there's zombies, campaign, and all that stuff, but, uh, for me, I really just play Call of Duty multiplayer, and we don't even have a ranked play yet, which I could talk about that all day as well. That's enough dumping on Call of Duty Cold War. I'm just trying to give you an example of what a rush development cycle Call of Duty looks like in terms of content. Now, I know we're going to get a ton of content uh, post-launch, and it's going to keep coming out and coming out to string you along and keep you playing, but whatever. Let's talk about Call of Duty 2021, the name of this video. So, World War Three or Advanced Warfare 2. So those titles, just from those, the game could be the same no matter what... With either one of those titles, the timeline for both could be in the future. A World War III would be in the future, and Advanced Warfare 2, of course, as you know, if you played the first Advanced Warfare, would be in the future. The real question here is whether the game is going to be boots on the ground or jetpacks. If it's called Advanced Warfare 2, I would speculate that there will be jetpacks in the game. World War III, maybe there's some sort of post-apocalyptic event. Technology is reset back a couple thousand years and there's no jetpacks. It's kind of like Call of Duty Ghosts, where it's 
set in the future, but um, there's really nothing crazy to make you think you're in the future. Me, personally, I'm hoping for Advanced Warfare. If you have played the first Advanced Warfare, I know a lot of people just think about the jetpacks and immediately dismiss the game and, and never want to play a game like that. But the guns in that game were crazy unique. Submachine guns felt vastly different from ARs. ARs had uh, fire rates that increased the longer you shoot them. Laser guns, rail guns, futuristic snipers that shot beams. Um, it was just crazy. You had aerial maneuvers, you could do a, a ground and pound from the air. Um, in my personal opinion, it's time to return to the jetpacks. There's a much higher skill ceiling, ability to outplay different people. And uh, I think it just adds a lot more depth to the game. You could, of course, balance them so that it's not just people jumping all over the map all the time. Give them a ridiculous cooldown. You move super slow through the air, so when you do go in the air, you're a really easy target for people on the ground. It makes a loud noise. There's a way to balance it where jetpacks don't have to be this crazy overpowered thing that just every gunfight you get in, you're trying to shoot all over the place. Um, yeah, so that's just how you can make jetpacks work, and for people who don't like them, I, I kind of think that's why. There's a way you could meet in the middle and make everyone happy, I think. Maybe not. So I personally wanted to go back to jetpacks, however with the direction Call of Duty has been moving, the noob friendly, kind of everyone's on an even playing field, super heavy skill based matchmaking, I don't think we're going to see jetpacks integrated again anytime soon, I think it's very unlikely. One last thing I want to talk about is um, weapon uniqueness. So as you know, Warzone isn't going anywhere. It's the most popular part of Call of Duty right now. Um, everyone plays Warzone. It's free. It's bigger than multiplayer zombies, all that. So what I think that means is that we're going to be seeing this kind of attachment system for the weapons for some time. Um, we're not going to return to just putting grip on your gun. We're not going to return to just putting a stock on your gun and it making it better. There's going to be... Five different kinds of stocks, five different kinds of grips, six different barrels, four silencers, all that stuff, just so the guns integrate well into Warzone. So, um, that kind of, for me at least, casts a dark cloud on the, uh, the Call of Duties to come, but we'll see. Anyways guys, um, stay tuned, I'm going to be updating the channel with more rumors regarding Call of Duty 2021. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye. In there, it's this door. They're not there. Maybe they're below. There might be one more level below us. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh, straight ahead. Get in here. Come in here. See that route I just did, Mace? That's the only way out. Down to your righty. Eh? Enemy UAV yeah, rocket Oh, nice molly. Fuck. Could be one shot. There's two. There's two. They're down in here on the first level. Got one. Got him. Good plays, boys. Um, e, I'm gonna give you money for a okay. UAV. What is this thing? Fuck. Money for a UAV. Oh, this gun. SMG here. Uh, I have no idea. The buy's right here, though. You might even be able to get it through the wall. The Malfist? Can we hear that? The what? Oh, it's the AS Val. It's really good up close. Here, money. Where's my money? May I see if you can get another UAV? I'm gonna throw down a munitions box. And there's a airstrike here. Airstrike here? I'm holding the cluster. I got a UAV. I'm gonna pop that son of a bitch. Friendly UAV overhead. Hmm. Uh, we got next circle coming. Oh, let's win the race there. And then we can fucking hit them with 10 streaks when they. I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. See who? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Taking shots here. 
Whoever grabbed that airstrike, if you hit the right side of the house, some shots might go in the window. Is that a fire shotgun? It is. I'm on the second level. Where are they? Like third or fourth level. Priming explosive. Guys up the hill the to the door. right. Yeah, I'm just camping the door to come in the dead. Yeah, ready for more. Enemy UAV overhead. Bitches. You'll confirm. I just landed in on you. There's one on the first level near you guys, I thought. I just killed one. I'm cluster striking the place. This is loaded 2 0. Good copy. Cluster strike away. Five near us. Shit, that guy's a fucking virgin. He's got an M13, eh? Oh, we're yeah, fucked. Yeah, Do you guys have any streaks to hit up there with? No. I hear of someone coughing to our right. Where am I going? Oh, he jumped off the roof. Right here, one shot. One more. Let's go! Nice. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, it's weird, huh? It feels so much more action than you'd think. Or than you end up with. Do those. Oh, 